everyone. Here is my workout for today. To start out with pull-ups, I got weighted pull-ups plus 10 pounds and I finally got my set of four. I was stuck at three for the past two workouts and I'm going to count my fourth today because I feel I pulled up high enough. Then I got a body weight set of six and I'm happy with the controlled descent speed. Then I got my narrow band for a set of 10. So progression on all of those sets. Then I did barbell bent over row. I got 120 pounds for two sets of nine. Then I got 110 pounds for a set of 12 and a set of 10. Then I did my chest support row and I decided I'm short enough I could just stand instead of trying to sit and be taller. I just stood so that I was rowing kind of lower and it felt fine. I'll just do both <clears throat> from time to time. And I got 40 pounds per side times uh, 8, then times 9, then times 8. Then I just did straight barbell curls, 40 pounds for 9, 8, 8. And then hammer curls, 20 pounds for a set of 8, and then a set of 9. The aim of the game today was just keep it simple, keep it heavy, keep it hard. Um, and don't take too long. And that's what I did today. I'm happy with that. I do have something that I want to talk about, but before I get into it, I just want to once again reiterate... Can people please stop commenting on my squad form? How many videos? How many videos do I have to make? How many voiceovers do I have to complain about? Please stop commenting on my squad form. I know it's imperfect. I didn't just start squatting yesterday. I know there are things that are off with it. And I have spent so many years trying to fix these things. I don't care anymore. So, stop commenting on my squat form. Thank you. Oh, unless you're saying something nice. That's always nice. But please stop critiquing it. I can't take it anymore. That's a disclaimer. I feel I'll have to put that disclaimer in front of every single video. It's just, my squats don't hurt. In fact, they feel fantastic. My glutes are growing. It's fine. Okay? Anyway. So what I actually want to talk about today. I finally felt really relaxed last night. I told everybody I was a little bit stressed. Well, yeah, I got a little bit stressed there, talking about my friend's squad form. But last night I felt really, really relaxed because I realized that I always seek towards happiness and making myself happy and that I know that I'm going to continue to work towards my own happiness and that I don't need to stress about it because even if in the moment I'm unhappy uh, with work or what I'm doing, um, I know that I always, I always aim to, to fix whatever is not working. Um, I think it's just many years of my life being in extreme depression and not even really being able to feel the emotion of happiness and then finally starting to have it come back to me and then realizing how much I value that feeling of happiness and that when it starts to fade away or when I feel like things are not um, making me feel as, as, as happy as I should be, then I don't just let that simmer. I'm not the kind, um, just be complacent with, oh, I'm miserable, that's fine. You know, I've worked with many miserable people in my life um, and they were great people, but they hated work, but they would never try to change anything or they were unhappy in this situation, unhappy at home, but they just never changed it. And with somebody that had too much depression and then got rid of that depression, I don't just let that uh, manifest into depression anymore. I try to nip it in the bud. So I believe in my ability to do that. It's just not an instantaneous change. You have to just kind of look to where things are not working and what I can do to make that happiness come back, um, even if it's just little bits here and there, little bits at a time. It's just not all of a sudden you're miserable and then the next day you fixed everything, you're going to be happy. It's just um, valuing that happiness enough and valuing, I guess, yourself enough to not want to be in that negative headspace. 
Um, so I just kind of realized, you know what? No, you don't let yourself just sit around and be miserable. You're going to fix it. You're going to think about it and you're going to work towards ways and ways and, and things to make yourself feel better. And especially for somebody um, in my situation has been, been single my entire life. It's always been up to me. If I'm ever having a bad day, it's always been uh, up to me to, I guess, turn that frown upside down. It's always been up to me to make myself feel better. Um, it's never been anybody else. So I know that I can rely on myself to, you know, cultivate the feelings of happiness and um, to not just kind of wait around and hope that it changes. So that's kind of what I'm going to look towards for 2024. And that's why I started, um, I guess I stopped feeling quite so stressed because I just thought this isn't permanent unhappiness. This is temporary unhappiness because you care too much to let it linger. And I've always been able to get myself out of the funks that I was in. And I believe in my ability to get out of the funk that I'm in. And that I do believe there's going to be good things for 2024. And I don't really set resolutions. I'm not that kind of thing. I always just set goals and try to achieve the goals. So I guess my only goal is just to make myself happy and um yeah just to continue to believe in myself and put myself out there i hope everybody has a safe and happy new year's eve bye